loves, welcome to Titi's Urban Pantry. I wanted to bring you along with me as I make some festive pepper jam. I've made this before um, and it was phenomenal. I got the recipe from the channel Best Yet Journey and I believe she got it from Sutton Day's um, channel, but I made it and we loved it and we didn't have that much. So I wanted to make some more. So I have a couple more peppers and I'm just going to do a couple of short batches throughout the night while I'm doing other things, but I decided I'll turn on the camera. So here, isn't that pretty? Can you see it? I have one red pepper, one green pepper, one yellow pepper, one orange pepper, and three jalapenos. Chop them up. I didn't pull out the dicer, the big chopper thing. Didn't feel like doing that, so I just did it as best I could. They are not even cuts, but not pretty. So we're going to throw it in our jam and jelly maker. I'm going to start by adding three tablespoons of pectin to the bottom of this. Just gonna kind of sprinkle it around. And then I have here some apple cider vinegar. So I am going to pour three-fourths cup. And I did a long pour, so I have just under one cup of apple cider vinegar. But now I'm going to dump these peppers into here. rhyme or reason just trying to get them all equally spread around and we want all this goodness I'm going to hit the jam button and hit enter it's going to start going around and I'm going to add in that apple cider vinegar, which I have just under a cup. And now I'm going to add in some red pepper flakes. I'm going to do about a tablespoon just under. And in four minutes, that is going to be, and I am going to add in my sugar. I'm going to add in three cups of sugar. So the last time I made this festive pepper jam, I did not get it on camera because I was doing the pineapple pepper jam. And I was really surprised by how good this was. This is now my favorite pepper jam of all time. Um, my husband was using it. He wanted to saute up some scallops in it. I had some salmon at work and I was like putting some on the side. And actually we got Chinese takeout today. And I took one of the little jars, one of the little jars and I had my egg rolls and I was dipping it in there. And when we were on the phone, the lady was like, do you want any sweet and sour sauce or any duck sauce? Nope. I got my own. <laughs> so to me, that's what that tastes like. It's a great condiment accompaniment to a lot of different foods, um, any meats. Personally, I don't think it's spicy. Um, I did have a good friend of mine. She tasted it and she said that it had a, a little warmth to it, but it wasn't spicy. It just had, she could taste the sweetness and then she could taste the warmth from the jalapenos and the red pepper flakes. On the jalapenos, so I had three good size jalapenos too. On two of them, I took out the rib, the ribbing on the inside and the seeds. And then one of them, I left all of that in there. 
and this smells so good the sweetness from that yellow and orange pepper is so good <laughs> these dogs today but this is going to beep at me in just a little bit, and I'm going to add in the sugar. In the back, I have um, some 8-ounce jars. So this is 8 ounces, and this is 4 ounces. So I'm going to try to fill up as many of these 8-ounce jars as I can. I do like to have a four ounce on hand just in case I don't have enough to fill one of these, but I can fill this. So I have that on hand just in case, and then I have these. I also have more peppers that I'm going to do tonight. So I kind of got a little thing going on. I got a little assembly line. And scraping down your sides is not a requirement at all. It's just what I do. I wish you guys could smell it though, for real, for real. It smells great. And um, this is starting to warm everything up. So in addition to the apple cider vinegar, now that it's starting to warm up, those peppers are starting to break down a little bit and create their own juice. And the sugar is going to help along with that. So we're going to put in three cups. This is a half a cup measurement, so we'll do six of these. And I believe one more. That's six, so that's three cups of sugar. I'm kind of stir this up. Make sure there's no sugar sticking to the sides. And then this still has another 17 minutes on it. So what I am going to do is get these glasses in my hot water back there. Also pull out the lids and the rings and get everything ready to can up when this goes off. So I will be back. We're back and this has less than a minute to go so I have here five eight ounce jars and then my one little four ounce jar just in case I need one I also have my measuring tool that's also a debubbler but with jams and jellies you don't need to debubble I also have my lids and rings and a little bowl of vinegar to wipe down the sides, wipe the jars down. And my house smells so good right now. So I don't know if you can see this, probably not, but it looks and smells amazing. And with the pepper jellies, really it's up to you. You can add in some habaneros if you want more heat or even leave out the jalapenos if you don't want any heat at all. I've done some, that one is overflowing a little bit. I've done some with pineapple. I've done some with just straight jalapeno. So you can really mix and match it any kind of way you want. And honestly, they all taste good. I feel like I'm making a mess. I always make a mess. So maybe one more jar. And then I still have some peppers in here that I am going to scrape out.
and this jam and jelly maker did all the work for me if you ever find one i do highly recommend it this has been the only way that i make my jams and jelly since i've gotten it three years ago and it hasn't given me any issues at all back then we got it at walmart for i think it was like 89 dollars and that was three years ago, so I'm sure the price has gone down at least a little bit since then. Or they didn't improve the model. So there we are. I'm wipe down our jars. I'm trying to get these really good because that sugar, with it being so hot, can still kind of hang out on the tops of our jars. So that small batch gave me five eight ounce jars, which is amazing. So I had one green pepper, one red pepper, one yellow pepper, one orange pepper, and three jalapenos. I also put in just over three-fourths cup of apple cider vinegar in there and a tablespoon of red pepper flakes, really just for color. But it looks so good. There you have it. So I'm going to go put these in the water bath canner and process these for 10 minutes. Ta-da! And they're done. A total of five eight ounce jars of the festive pepper jelly. Two of them have sealed already. Yay. Three of them have sealed already. And just look at that. That is sweet goodness right there. Look at those peppers. Isn't it so pretty? So there's our five jars. Thank you for watching TT's Urban Pantry. If you enjoyed this content or was able to learn anything from it, please hit like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos are uploaded. And as always, have a wonderful and blessed day.